Hey everyone, Fina here from Fina Reads. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk with you about my September TBR or to be read. So the books I want to read in September. And if there's one thing that I learned from the last two TBRs that I filmed is keep it light. So I try to not put as many books on my TBR this time, but I have a feeling it's still going to be interesting. So let's see what a reasonable TBR looks like and if that is accomplishable. <laughs> So I want to start with the books that I'm in the middle of. So they are technically half August, half September, but you know, we're just rolling with it. Starting with Senlin Ascents. So Senlin Ascents is the first book of the, what is it called? The Book of Babel. And as you can see, I'm in there a little bit. Well, it's five chapters, I think. Yeah, I'm starting with chapter five right now. So not really far quite yet, but I totally love the whimsical feel right now. And the first thing that I said in chapter after reading chapter one is that guide that he's using to get around in the Tower of Babel sounds like the Hitchhiker's Guide Through the Galaxy. I'm definitely excited on how that continues. I hope to be finishing that within the next days. Usually, I mean, this is what, 300, 400 pages. So usually books like 400 pages don't take me too long. But we'll see. I'm kind of in a weird reading mood at the moment and I haven't read much in the last day. So hmm, it's not the book's fault. I'm telling you that much. But anyway, so that is one of the books that I want to continue and I'm really excited about it. And then the other two are a bit weird. So one is the bullet journal method. It's a nonfiction book that explains how to bullet journal. And I've bullet journaled for a long time, but more from an art perspective and thinking through, you know, how, how do I keep myself organized, but make the pages look good as well. But August has been a bit challenging from a work perspective. So I'm actually reading this more for work than for private journaling. And this is really taking a step back, like the basic minimum for journaling, how it works. And I'm halfway through and I started using it this week so far. So good, but what can you say after two days? Um, so I'm hoping that this new bullet journal method helps me stay a bit more organized at work. And then the other one is because I, there was a, a read, not a read along, but a buddy read between Pete from Ponderings of Pete, um, Christy from Dostoevsky in Space, and who else was on there? I'll put the link down below. I forgot. And they did a live show for the book. And that's the Communist Manifesto. And I thought, you know what? That's actually interesting. Um, I, I kind of, not that I see myself as a communist or anything. It's really literally just interest in what Karl Marx wrote back then. And I like the version Christy was showing, which is this one, which has the manifesto in it, but then also some historical information. So I read the manifesto, but in German, because I did not understand a word after reading the first page in English. But... I want to continue with the history piece and it basically talks about how what was the time back then when Karl Marx wrote that the communist manifesto and um, what was the the situation what was the country in just background and explaining why he wrote it and what it meant back then versus today so just general interest so thanks Pete and Christy and mysterious third person that I can't remember right now for getting me into this. So that was a super spontaneous thing that I picked up. All right, now we get to the September TBR. And there are a couple of books that I definitely want to get to. And I try to keep it to a total minimum. So starting with the commitment books, obviously, since I'm reading Sendlin Essence, the first book, I want to read the second book. So far, again, Sendlin Essence is seems to be really good. I really enjoy the writing right now. I like the whimsical feel of it. So I'm hoping it continues this way and that I then pick up Armor of the Swings. Obviously, this is only going to happen if I like Senlin. If for whatever reason I don't like Senlin, this is probably not going to happen. Um, another, <laughs> well, that's kind of, um, I was supposed to read that in August. That didn't happen. And this is a little bit of a chunker too. Oh God, this is 600 pages. What am I getting myself into? So 600 <laughs> pages that I was supposed to read last month. Well, I was not supposed to. No one is forcing me. But there is this read-along on Library of Alexandria's channel that I really wanted to join. And everybody's already talking about this book. Everybody's saying it's amazing and it's super fun. And it has like a nice steampunk vibe to it. Not that I'm a huge steampunk fan, but it sounds just really great. It's probably more the excitement and the FOMO that makes me want to read this. <laughs> But 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm really excited about it. Plus, I'm really interested in the insect aspect. So I read Children of Times from Adrian Tchaikovsky. And I love the way how he talked about the spiders and their social situation and um, how they just live in a colony and all those kind of things. It was super interesting, surprisingly enough. And I ended up rooting for the spiders in Children of Time. So this is also an insect world, right? So this is the wasps, I think, in the first one, if I remember correctly. So I'm really interested to see how he talks about that. He seems to have a thing for insects. I don't know. Maybe he is... What is the job called when you work with insects? Maybe he is one of those people. Anyway, and it fits. I'm currently watching Bones and there's the, the buck guy, <laughs> Hodgins. Uh, it kind of fits. So I definitely want to read that. Well, and then I don't think I will get to book two though, which is actually the book for September. So the read along was this in August and Dragonfly Falling, I think is book two. I don't see myself getting to that in September. So I'm already a month behind. And the other book that I've kind of signed up for is The Kite Runner. And I'm scared of this book. <laughs> I'm really scared. I'm also a Patreon for Kate, who runs the channel Literary Apothecary. And she has a perk for patrons where you can pick a book that she is supposed to read in that month. And I want to buddy read it with her. So I picked The Kite Runner and this is one of those books that I really want to read because everybody keeps saying how amazing it is, but I also know that people are saying it's very emotional. I heard that people are crying in this book and that it's rather a sad story, so we'll see. I'm not a huge crier when it comes to book, but I tend to avoid very emotional books, which is maybe why. So we'll see. I'm definitely excited. I hear only good things about the writing. I hear only good things about the story itself. Reviews are, you know, star rating is very high everywhere for this book. So I'm, I, I'm, I assume it's going to be a good read. I just need to be prepared that it's going to be an emotional one. So, so the next one is a finishing of a series. I am in the middle of the Rise of the Emperor series. I read book one and two already and book three, Gods of Rome, is coming out September 2nd, but I already have an arc from Nat Gelly, so I'm really excited to read that one. The first two books were really, really good, but I will talk about that in a different video. So I'm really excited about finishing out the series. So and then there are two new books. One is a recent release and the other one is coming out later this month, I think. Um, so the one that is coming out later this month is The Body Scout. And that is something where I just saw the cover and I was like, okay, this looks so weird that I have to read it. I actually have no idea what it is about, but I love the cover and I watched during, um, it was a Comic-Con, was Comic-Con just recently? The virtual version? One of those cons, I think it was Comic-Con. And I watched a couple of those panels because they were avail available online for free. And one of them was from Orbit and various Orbit authors talked about their upcoming releases and that was one of them. So I'm actually really excited. Everything he said sounded like something I would like. Again, I totally forgot what it was about, but I love the cover. It looks quirky. It is kind of a sci-fi theme of you can buy body parts or something, I think. So it sounded really good. I definitely um, want to read that. And I also got an arc for that from Nat Gelly. So yeah, I'm definitely going to read that. I'm excited about it. And the last book that I have on my definite September TBR hoping to get to is another nonfiction, which is called Cultish. And that is a new, I think it came out last month and I, I don't even know how I saw it, maybe on Instagram somewhere that the author put something on the publisher's website, but it's a nonfiction about what language cults are using to lure people in or something like that. And it sounded interesting enough because I am very interested in topics around how does religion work? How do cults work? What type of people, you know, follow those beliefs? And not necessarily to find any negative things. I'm just curious about it because I'm not a believer in, or I'm not part of any religion, but I see that 
it is a big thing in the world and I'm just interested in how the world works when it comes to beliefs like religion and other things. So I thought it sounded really interesting and it was more not about cults and why do cults exist, but more about the language ex aspect of it. If I understood it correctly, she did a whole anal analysis of the language of what cults are using and um, how they're getting people excited about their belief and how they're pulling people in. Plus the cover just looks interesting. So I wanted to give it a try. I think the reviews are kind of mixed at the moment on that one, but it is on the shorter side and it sounds interesting enough that, yeah, I want to give it a try. Plus it was on sale the other day for Kindle. So I got it on sale. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of my September plan. And then I hope I'll see you soon with my next video and that you have a great rest of your day. Bye.